to, I also wanted to uh, uh, today mention uh, an event I'm attending in Adam Interview on Saturday, which is the re-dedication uh, or the reopening of the Big Trout. Uh, the Big Trout has been being refurbished over the last few years. For those who are the, for those who have visited Adam Interview, Adam Interview regularly, uh, they would know that the Big Trout is a feature of the area. And up until a few years ago, it was looking a bit sad. A previous uh, a previous rep, a previous restoration had uh, had not gone well. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the big trout had lost its sparkle, had lost its shine, and it was certainly starting to look a bit tired. Uh, it took quite, uh, it, it needed quite a lot of work. I was very pleased that uh, when I was the local member there, we were able to kick off the fundraising for the big trout with $11,000 contribution towards uh, this community project. And as, uh, as the community members who raised the rest of the money said, that gave the committee the incentive to keep going. They raised uh, over two years uh, $31,000 by way of public donations towards the $51,000 cost overall of the restoration of the big trout. I want to congratulate the community in Adam Inderby and uh, the surrounding areas for their effort in raising those funds. I think we'd all agree that that's an excellent effort from a very small community. And uh, the big trout now is uh, proudly standing there, a symbol for the wonderful trout fishing in the area and for tourism in the region. Uh, and as an attraction for people to stop by in Adam Inaby and uh, and uh, spend a bit of money there, it's a it's a terrific uh, terrific area, and I'm pleased to be visiting again on the weekend. Uh, the Snowy Ride will also be in action, and they'll also be opening the Heritage Trail. Adam Inaby is a, a community which I was proud to represent for many years, and I'm always pleased to go back there to see some of the great achievements, like the fact that they got fresh, reliable water from our government, uh, assistance with the uh, and assistance with the uh, museum there. And it doesn't matter that they don't always vote for us; still got to do a great job. The Honourable David Clark. <laughs>